sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. In his presence are majesty and splendor, strength and honor in his holy place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Should not become 
say this because the world as we know it is passing away. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The kingdom of God is close at hand. Believe the good news. Hallelujah. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips, and then may word proclaim the word of the Holy Ghost. And in our gospel today, Jesus begins to proclaim the good news of God. He chooses Simon, Andrew, James, and John to help him preach the kingdom. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news of God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. As he was walking along by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net in the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you into fishers of men. And at once they left their nets and followed him. Going on a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in their boat, mending their nets. He called them at once, and leaving their father Zebedee in the boat with the men he employed, they went after him. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The time has come, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. The beginning of the ministry of Jesus is part of a whole series of events, each pointing towards the next. Centuries of prophecy express the longing of the people for a Messiah. Signs had accompanied the birth of Jesus. John the Baptist began to understand that Jesus was the one for whom he was preparing the people. So with all the waiting, with all the expectation, with all the searching, the public ministry of Jesus is itself a sign that the time has come. The time awaited for so long, the time of salvation. After 40 days of preparation in the wilderness, Jesus himself senses that the time has come. For him, the time is not a time of day or a season, but a moment of opportunity, of crisis, of decision. He begins to preach the kingdom of God. Those who hear the message must either heed him or turn away. The time has come to repent and believe the good news. The sense that the moment of repentance and salvation had arrived is as important today as it was when it was first proclaimed by Jesus. It is here and now that we are hearing the word of God calling us to repentance and faith. It is here and now that we hear the good news announced and that we take it to heart. And as we are changed by the good news, we become the messengers ourselves. We say we believe in the power of forgiveness because we have experienced it. We say we love because we know we have been loved. We are certain that we have been rescued by God from whatever would oppress us. And we seek to rescue others who are living in fear and despair. We don't continually postpone passing on good news. We live and witness here and now. In the words of Jesus, the time has come. Repent and believe in the good news. For those who hear the words of Jesus, there was no delay. He called them and at once they followed him. If we believe in the good news of Jesus, we cannot delay in making it known. So on um, this third Sunday in ordinary time, you might try and help someone who is in urgent need and make a list of your priorities in life and then tell someone something that
that is good news. The time has come and the kingdom of God is close at hand. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first disciples were called to leave behind their old way of life and to follow Jesus. He would show them a new way of living. We turn now to the Lord praying that God's will will be done. Let us remember in prayer all those called to follow the Lord. May their faith be once again made strong, their hearts be renewed in love, and their whole lives be renewed in God's service. Lord, hear us. Let us remember in prayer those who are burdened with guilt and sin. May they know the forgiveness of God and be reconciled to their sisters and brothers in the body of Christ. Lord, hear us. Let us remember in prayer those who suffer from any kind of abuse in body, mind, or spirit. May the Lord strengthen and comfort them and restore their dignity and self-respect. Lord, hear us. Let us remember in prayer those who have fallen asleep in the Lord's love. And today we remember the father whose anniversaries occur, Dennis Minahan Cooley Riley, Bernie Hyde Kilbrick, May Queen Wexford, Danny O'Manny Barney, Sister Conrad O'Donovan Balance Scully, Bill Joan and Peggy O'Connell Old Hay, all for whom this Mass has been offered. And we remember all those for whom we've been asked to pray for. Eternal rest granted to them, O Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Gentle God, your name is holy, your power is great, your will to save us knows no limits. Hear us as we pray to you. Grant us what we need and keep us always in your love. And we ask this. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the direct work of human hands, and become for us the bread. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divine life of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our good. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, we become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for with humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the peace and, and praise and glory of your name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hands. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through his past and mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, 
For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so the angels and the archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we attain. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for In a similar way, when supper was in, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And as I raise the chalice over our altar here and as we celebrate this Sunday's Mass, I sing the Lord's healing to each one of you now. And I put your intentions into this chalice and ask the Lord to take it to his throne in heaven and answer each and every one. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering, so that we may obtain an inheritance which you will let, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick and with all the saints, and whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for our unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church in it, with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Finton our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, Dennis Minahan, Bernie Hyde, May Quinn, Danny O'Manny, Sister Conlet O'Donnell, Bill, Joan, and Paddy O'Connor, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant the day who are united with your son and death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body.
to our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without me, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. The kingdom of God is close at hand. Let us pray for its coming as the Lord has taught. Our Father, <coughs> who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord <coughs> Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the fate of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And I pray once again now that Jesus may walk into your hearts and into your homes and bring his peace and forgiveness and especially his healing to your hearts. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercies. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercies. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Oh, sacrament, most holy, oh, sacrament. 
sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. Now I just bring to you notice the newsletters which are available in both churches and there's some notices there, a special notice of thank you to everybody who has supported so well and also <coughs> Just a notice about the weekly collection envelopes and the boxes of collection envelopes for 2021 are now available to be collected. As we cannot open the parish office at present, please contact us in the numbers there to contact to organise collection delivery. Uh, there was a good uptake of parishioners using the envelopes this year and we hope that it continues in 2021. If anyone has any queries, please do not hesitate to give us a call. And just thanks again to everybody for their continued support. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Blessed Michael, the Archangel, Defend us in the hour of conflict. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, trust Satan down the head with all wicked spirits that wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. My Jesus, make me humble enough to admit when others are right and I am wrong. Make me strong enough to be independent of the praises, blame, or content of those who shun your principles. With justice in my mind and charity in my heart, let me please you without desiring to displease them. When this is impossible, I hope to imitate your loyalty to the Father's will. My Jesus, be close to me. I am constantly tempted to reach out for my advantage, benefit, and contentment, since you alone are my highest, most enduring, and most complete good. Help me to prefer you when any person or thing threatens to separate me from you. Amen. The Lord be with you all. Let us bow our heads now and I pray God's blessing and healing on your hearts and homes. The Lord be with you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. May the Lord protect you from harm. Amen. May the Lord fill you with joy. Amen. And may the Lord always give you strength. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is in it. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks.